X-Men, the official game, short review. Taking place between the second and third movies, the team goes back to Alkali Lake and finds that something else was going on down there. This uses the movie's continuity, but the movie series continuity, but a lot of stuff from the comics pops up, and it really has no relevance because, you know, the people in this don't really understand, what the characters don't understand what's going on, and fans who have only watched the movies aren't either, so that's kind of, you know, and it doesn't, it doesn't have any impact other than, you know, comic fans can, you know, say, oh, hey, hey, you know, can kind of recognize it, and that's about it. You know, this doesn't take the X-Men Legends route of having, like, a dictionary where, you know, people who don't know the comics already extensively can just, you know, hear or read about what's actually, you know, what the past of this, what the history of it is. Basically, you're playing as Wolverine, Iceman, and Nightcrawler in three separate sets of levels, and the game mechanics are reasonable. You do have some fun, especially with Iceman and Nightcrawler. The Nightcrawler teleportation, both in fighting and in transportation, is quite well done. Overall, you can really tell it's a licensed game. It's short, it's rushed, and it's just not that strong of a game. It's not really gonna leave you, you know, just blown away. The graphics are reasonable. The story is okay. There are some outstanding levels, but all in all, it's not that good of a game. It's okay if you really like these characters and you really want to play as these characters, but there are better Wolverines games out there. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.